welcome to the Biff Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival, where we talk with our guests about their current films, the filmmaking process, and we can take a closer look behind the curtains. My name is Julia Rutkowska, and with me is Daniel Danzig, the director of Miss Osaka. Thank you for being here, Daniel. Thank you for having me. Daniel, who would you be if you could be anyone but yourself? Yeah. This is kind of the topic of your movie, Miss Osaka. Who is Miss Osaka, or what? Could you give us a brief introduction into your film? I think you framed it pretty good with that question. Uh, I think it's a question like all of us have at, at a certain point uh, in our lives, maybe in, <laughs> in many points in our life, we, we are so frustrated with the situation we, we are dealing with, so we wish for a completely different life. Uh, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> I get like, I get so sick of my own life, so I want to be someone else. And that's like the driving force behind this movie. Uh, it's about a, a young woman who is, I think she's depressed when you meet her. She's like, she's kind of low, uh, searching in a, in a relationship with a boyfriend that's not really working. And then all of a sudden she meets this character that opens, opens her eyes to this other possibility of becoming someone completely different, changing your life fully. Um, and she, she grabs that opportunity. Uh, and I think she's like a, she's a real romantic character. So she goes on without thinking about the consequences for a long time. And it's, it's charming, but it's also completely unrealistic and uh, stupid and dangerous and uh, uh, yeah I, so the film deals with what happens when you make a, when you make a decision like that what will happen um, how did you come up with the idea? Um, the um, part of the movie big part of the movie plays in Osaka in mm -hmm. Japan um, what is your connection to Japan? Uh, so I visited Japan as just like a tourist. Uh, I wanted to go there. Uh, after my first movie, Gold Coast, it was I think 2014 or 15, I wanted to take a break from everything. And I, I just bought a ticket to Japan. <laughs> and then uh, obviously another idea popped up that why don't I make my next movie here? Uh, and especially Osaka, because I came to Tokyo first, and then I, I found that it was kind of similar to my to my ideas uh, beforehand of Tokyo. It's this like patchwork of uh, everything is possible. A little bit of you know Chinatown, a little bit of New York, a little bit of something very Japanese, and it's like this patchwork. But then I went to Osaka later on, and it was a different impression. It was much more of a massive. Uh, big city, not related at all to Europe or to America. I felt like genuinely Japanese and genuinely weird, I think, for me. So I felt that it was an attractive setting to place this adventure, this question, what, what, what would I be if I wasn't Daniel or if I wasn't Enos? And then try to figure out a new identity in Osaka. So as you said, um, the environment was quite different in comparison to Europe maybe. Um, what was it like filming there with a different culture, different language? Did you have some obstacles that mm. you did have to overcome? Yeah, we had many obstacles. Uh, <laughs> first of all, financially, it's, it's an expensive place and so is Norway. So it was two like really expensive countries to film in. But. Uh, we were lucky to find some guys who understood what we wanted. Like the crew and me, we, we come from a, like more a documentary background and we wanted that feeling to kind of, uh, yeah, to kind of push the production forward. So it wasn't like a set fiction feature production. It was, we were trying to make it more like a documentary. Like here is this girl, Ines, we have a script, but We'll try something else today. We'll try to forget about the script and to go in a, in a, on an adventure with Enos. It was difficult to get that mes message across to the Japanese people, but I think we managed in some days at least, especially towards the end of the production, everybody got tired and like, 
all the laws or <laughs> all the barriers fell slowly because of ex exhaustion. And, and then something beautiful came across, I think, which was more in the more in the way that I wanted to make the film, more freely. Okay, and how long did you film? I think we were there, we shot for like five weeks in Japan. Okay, intense time, I think. Yeah, yeah. very intense. Yeah. Um, Miss Osaka is your second feature film, as you uh, told. Your first uh, film is called Gold Coast, mm -hmm. and it's obviously a completely different project, but um, what did you learn from your previous work that you could apply to your second feature? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe something like I made preparation? I made pretty much the same mistakes again. Okay. So I was a bad student in that way. <laughs> I don't know, I, I probably I learned a lot. I learned uh, what it's like to maneuver such a big ship. So I had some kind of experience. But in a way, I think like every, every film is like, it's like a ship of its own. So even though you've been a captain before, the ship is completely new. You have to learn everything from the beginning again. So I felt like um, I didn't. I, I felt like a newcomer going into Japan. But I felt, you know, humbled, but also excited to be able to be in a position where I could actually lead a film through these like stormy waters of Japan. That's a very cool comparison. Um, Last but not least, the first question, who would you be if you could be anyone but yourself, even if it's for a day? So another person, you mean? Another existing another person? Another person or, yeah, yeah, like... So at the moment, I think I would be uh, the Danish uh, tennis player, Holger Rune. He's 19 years old, he's just like, just starting and he's almost the best in the world already. You know, so I would like to have like, 15 years of top tennis ahead of me, all the, all the travels, all the energy, all the, all the money, all the, I would like to have that ahead of me, like I think he has. Would you want to do all the training? No, I'd just like to be him now, yeah. like that. <laughs> Without, you know, 19 years of training and hard work, I would just like to be him now. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, Daniel, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.